Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just in case, I am going to talk a little bit low because um, unfortunately it's like around 7.30 and my brother is still sleeping and um, it's pretty early. But the good thing about this whole thing that there's not too much noise and the dogs outside are pretty quiet. But you will probably later on they'll start barking and stuff. So anyway, um, we're going to continue with part two of drawing um, faces and heads and figures uh, uh, with different methods. Now before I get started, I want to show you what I've done here so far. And uh, let me get a little bit comfortable here. Someone sent me a message on my... Um, on Facebook that they said that my video is getting really good now that I have this phone holder but the only problem is that I got to remember that sometimes when I draw um, and I just noticed it yesterday I was because I usually when I do my videos I actually look back to it to see if I did something wrong or if I didn't do it you know do it right or something then at the same time like when I was giving the demonstration on the lips or another face on the side, it didn't show. It just showed the drawing that I was doing before. So I'm going to try to look at the camera at the same time, the phone, focus it better. And uh, hopefully I don't do the same mistake. Like I said, guys, I'm starting out, you know, little by little, um, working with my new phone holder and... Uh, Hopefully this will last me a long time. Okay, so um, before I go on with the methods, um, I'm starting to get a little better with the inking. As you can see, it's um, since I'm having trouble with hair, I actually start out with the hair with the ink. I still got to do you know more details, and it's not finished yet. But I, I intend to finish this. This is a character I actually created. Her name is the. Devomenia, something like that, but something I created, something that just came out of the blue moon in my head. And so, you know, um, I still got to finish with inking uh, the eyes. I had to erase a little bit some mistakes that I did before, so now it looks way better and the proportions are way better. So now I could um, ink it and it'll look better. And I definitely need a lot of practice with inking because um, I'm beginning to like um, to work with ink and especially with the the brushes that I have like for example um, I usually when I do my sketches um, I don't know where it is okay here it is um, this one didn't work so good so these are these astro pens don't work good but I still could use this for thicker lines you know um, the brush pen this works like a charm. I love working with this. And that's how I got to this. You know, I started doing all the details with the hair. Now, the reason why I started with the hair, because the hair is like a mission. I, I want to, you know, start with the hair first. And then, you know, the features for me are easier because I already did the features, the nose and the mouth. But the hair is a mission and I still got to work with a little bit more details. I don't want to add too much lines or I'll ruin the drawing. So I'm just gonna do some lines and that's about it. I'm not gonna ruin this drawing. Okay, so um, this one, I started fixing the, the proportions. It looks way better than before. Uh, again, I usually draw mutants and uh, you know fantasy characters and stuff like that. So. This could be like a mutant that lives under the ground. It could be anything, you know. Um, I sometimes create characters and I don't even know, um, you know, like I, I can't find a plot to the, my characters. But yes, I'm, I'm very good creating uh, uh, character design and all that. And sometimes, uh, well, way, way, way back, I used to do including the costume and everything. So it's coming out pretty good. This one looks way better than before. I kind of, you know, added a little bit more features, more eyelashes. Of course, she's sort of like an evil woman. Um, 
I did her before on a video with music before, but it didn't come out so good. So I decided to work with more details on her. Now, when I go back with the hair, I got to really fix this part. I think it's just too much hair on this side. I'm not really sure. So I probably might um, erase some part over here of the hair and then just leave this one here. This looks, if you look at it, it looks pretty normal, the hair. But if you look at this side, it's just a little bit too much. So I might probably erase. What I like about this, that the uh, the features came out pretty good. You know, it, it didn't come out so bad. So, but I will do this in ink. And all of this, of course, is going to take time. The hippie chick, um, I did uh, way better. And uh, I started fixing the eyes just a little bit better. Um, because I need to work on my three-quarter view. And uh, three-quarter views are not easy to do. So I have to remember that um, the three-quarter view the other side of the face is you're going to see less and the this side of the face you're going to see more so so i have to go back and try to figure out if i did this eyebrow too short and this one maybe a little extended out i don't know yet i might go back and fix this but it looks uh decent it doesn't look so bad this one came out remarkable it came out better um of course i gotta like look at the face like this even though the drawing is like this but the f just to figure out the proportions if it's to see because sometimes you got to move your drawing around it or sometimes you got to like look like from far away to see if you did your drawing good from a distance you know what i mean so you're definitely going to have to do all these things especially when you when you draw your characters and stuff now i really like the way this came out this came out excellent the proportions you know right here the the three-quarter view looks so um realistic right here and this side of the face looks um more you're going to see more on this side and less on this side of the face this is a a, a drawing i did from a, a friend from spain i drew her mother uh but this time what i did was um i did it in ink and what i did was i used the brush ink i started working with all the thick lines you know and then the thick lines on the contour. So instead of working with the face, I started working with the hair because you know the hair. Since I've had, I have so much uh, problems trying to you know f do the hair and and do it the right correct way. So I decided to fix the hair a little bit, make it a little bit longer right here. Then at the same time, add a little bit more details with the ink. So it came out pretty good. It came out pretty decent. Then I started working with ink. I used this um, type of pen, the number five, and I also use the number one also uh, to do the thick lines. I also use the number th the three to do all these little tiny eyelashes. So the number three, the micro uh, number three pen. So I usually use, um, how do you call it, number five, number one, and number three. Number one, of course, is for thicker lines. But even though I could still do uh, thick lines with this because I could actually, uh, you know, press down on the pen. So that actually works out pretty well. So so I did her really good. At, um, hopefully she sees it on my Facebook uh, post and she probably might enjoy this. I don't know. Maybe she didn't, maybe might not like it in ink. But I actually think it looks good in ink. Uh, and I need to improve on my ink. I just got to fix this little part right here on her lip that it doesn't look so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably fix it now that I have the, the drawing in front of me. So all I gotta do is, you know, really fix this, that's it. And then maybe erase a little bit because this woman does have thin lips. That's it, so, um, so now it looks a little bit better. Okay, so this is a, um, a pop star from Spain. His name is Nacho Vega, he sings he used to be in a 80s band called Nacha Pop. And I know many of you probably never heard of this band, but unfortunately, they don't play this kind of music, Spanish rock or Spanish 80s here in the United States uh, because the music industry has gone to hell. But anyway, it's this is sort of like an 80s band. And this is the ex-singer of the group. And uh, he made a solo album. So I copied him. And uh, this time I went back uh, to the CD and I checked on, on his face. The only problem here that I should have added maybe some hair 
uh, a little bit more hair and more shadow, more like tone to make it a three dimensional look. But I seem to forget that, you know, I have to make my drawings uh, three dimensional. So, so far that um, came out pretty good. And then over here, um, let me get another pencil here for a second, hold on. I like this one. So over here, I definitely got to, uh, you know, um, dark here a little bit. Just, you know, make it like kind of like a, a five o'clock shadow on it, on his on his face. Dark in over here, probably, maybe um, right here where the eyes are. Because, of course, he has a lot of hair, so all that hair actually causes uh, a lot of shadow on his face. Okay, so that came out pretty good. Um, and this is actually the, the technique when I did this character. So I'm, I'm probably going to leave that in, um, in pencil better. Now this one, um, I'm not too happy with because the whiteout ink, it looks too visible. Like, I don't know if you can tell the whiteout ink. So I have to figure a way that maybe I should just color her skin, like, the, you know, the color skin like the pigment color, pigment color. And then maybe this might, but I might ruin the drawing. I don't know yet if I should just leave it like this. But I, what I like about this drawing is that she looks so decent and so uh, innocent, you know, and uh, I just hate to throw this away. So even though this doesn't, this part of the face doesn't look so good because of the whiteout, um, I might keep it. Or maybe what I'll do is I might put tracing paper. Unfortunately, I don't have a light box. And I think I, you know, I'm going to have to get me a light box to correct all my drawings better with a light box. So maybe what I'll do is put a, another piece of paper on top and then just kind of like lift it up with the light is and then bring it down slowly, work on the face. I mean, that's the only option I have because I don't have a light box. So this is going to be hard to fix. But other than that, I really love the way I drew her face. Very innocent looking, very beautiful, of course. It's just this part here bothers me. This, this white out that I, I think I put too much white out there. But anyway, you guys are free to leave me your comments. So this one is the profile done before I actually uh, finished it in ink. Uh, I started doing the, um, let me raise this a little bit. For example, I started doing the outline first with um, with this brush right here. And then, no, wait a minute. I think for this I used the, um, the number one pen, the graphic pen, to make the thick lines all over the contour of the profile. And then I used the number three and the number uh, five to do the details of the face. Um, this... I have to finish again you know I, there's some things that sometimes you know when you work too fast you won't be able to you know do your artwork really good and unfortunately i don't have the time to finish every th single details like many people do because some some people you know they don't work or they or they just have that opportunity um to work more with their heart you know their art so and uh, I definitely need to devote myself in my artwork so that way my artwork would, you know, get way better than, than what I used to do. This is the, the process of doing the, the profile right here. So this is another character I did. Um, I didn't have to go back to fix this, uh, the proportions. It came out pretty good. I just had to add a little bit more details on the hair. And that's what I did. I might consider doing this probably in ink. I might probably do this. Now, this one came out really uh, nice. Um, I started working more. I still got to fix the, the flowers a little bit, make it look more three-dimensional. Um, again, I started working with the hair first. Um, this looks like uh, the actress um, from this movie, Valley of the Dolls. Uh, not Sharon Tate. It was the uh, other one. The receptionist in the movie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Valley of the Dolls. It's one of my favorite movies. So um, 
the hairstyle is a very, very 60s look, you know? I, I kind of like drawing that, either that 60s or that 1940s look hairstyle. But even though, you know, even if, even, even if you can draw that, that type of hairstyle, you definitely need a lot of practice in creating the hair. So I started out doing the outline and then I started doing the bangs, like the split ends, do more details. I might go back and do a little bit more details because in the bottom of the hair, you have more details. So I might go back and fix a little bit of this. So this used to be in pencil, so I did it in ink. I still got to work a little bit more on this. Uh, remember, try to understand most of these drawings that you're going to see they're not finished yet so I still look I got to keep working at it with more ink like for example add more details like for example I drew Iron Man from my head so I don't know if that really looks like Iron Man and I drew mostly these characters I did from my head um but I still got to do some more details maybe like inside the eye over here and maybe the nose over here I got to do with the ink of course um this came out excellent. Um, this is sort of like um, the Punisher, you know, the Marvel Comics P Punisher. Um, and uh, I did it very, very bulky. And I added more mass on him, more bulky muscles, because I need a lot of practice drawing muscles. And this is the um, actual technique that I did for this. So what I did was I did this on the side to figure out how I'm gonna do, you know, the technique. And then on another piece of paper, I did a pose, just a regular simple stick figure pose. And then I started working with this. So it came out pretty good. He's got these bombs behind his back. And then I did his face here. I think I could do better, make his face more serious. So I might go back and start all over and probably fix his face a little bit better. It does look like the Punisher in a way, but they're like the real actual Punisher is more like really rugged, very, very mean looking. So this is more like an Andrew Loomis uh, Punisher. So I got to go back and do it more like how Marvel Comics would do it. This is um, the techniques uh, that I was showing you um, part one and drawing the figure. That you start off with the gesture and the limbs, and then after that you actually scribble in the form of the body. So that came out pretty good. It's not a finished drawing because I didn't intend it to be finished. I wanted it to be more like sort of like a constructional page. So I might add this in one of my drawing pages, my how to draw pages that I did. And the, the female came out excellent. Um, uh, the proportions came out pretty good. I have to remember that the chest of the woman, the torso is smaller and the bottom part is a little bit larger and stuff. Another way uh, that I saw this um, in Google that when you do the, um, the hip area, not only you could, you know, make it big, you know, so let's, let's do the, um, the pelvic area, like a regular oval for the pelvic. And here's the underwear technique. You could actually, uh, instead of making lines like this, what I would consider that you bring it, you know, bring out kind of like the Loomis method, the joints out like that. That would actually give you uh, the form of the body that the hips are going to be more bigger. So you could do that if you want. So I'll do this in ink so you guys can understand what pretty much what I'm showing you guys here. You start off with a regular fear circle, an oval, the underwear, sort of like panties, underwear. And then this actually helps you form, you know, the rest of the body. So the joints, if I want, I could do two circles coming out of the circle right here, two little joints. This is the joints, the legs right here. And then little by little, I start, of course, the waist is going to be smaller. And then you start expanding the hips, the crotch like this. Never when you do a woman's crotch, never do like that, because that's more like more like a male uh, crotch, especially when you're, when you're doing superheroes. Woman, women's uh, crotches is mostly like 
like this. You gotta, that's why you have to study the anatomy like this. The crotch of a woman is like, like that. Straight down like that. It's like a, a straight arrow down like that, okay? All right, so let's go on. This one, um, it was in pencil before, and what I did was I uh, added some inking, so it came out pretty good, pretty decent. I still got to work with it. This is sort of like a mutant character that I did. I started working with the outline first, and then I started doing the details, different pens, of course. This one came out excellent, too. Um, very beautiful. I, I created her very nice. The hairstyle. Again, I started with the hair first because I wanted to get, you know, like get rid of the situation with the hair. The hair is a very, you know, it's, it's a mission trying to do hair. And then I started working with um, the details of the face, the features, with the inking, with a small pen. And then I got to go back and probably maybe add a little thin line here with ink. Or maybe I just might leave it like that. I don't know. Because the pencil actually, actually shows you the shape. So maybe I don't have to go back and finish it with the ink. So I'm just going to leave it maybe like this. That's about it. They just work with a little bit, you know, just a little bit details here. That's all. So it came out really good, I think. These were also made in pencil. As you can see, this is the technique for it. So in order to do this, what I did is I started working with the number five pen the micro five pen and I did everything with a micro five pen. Now I don't know if it looks okay, you know what I mean? But I still got to go back and ink a little bit more details with uh, a very thin um, pen. Like for example, over here, I'm going to work, you know, go back work with the ink over here, maybe over here, some details over here and some details over here. And then also add a little bit more ink over here. So, like I said, many of these drawings are not finished. I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I'm, you know, working on. The rest of the drawings here, I wasn't too happy with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissor and, you know, cut this and then probably glue this picture because I like this better than the cowboy and the profile because it didn't come out so good. So I might probably chop this off, you know, and then probably uh, glue it on another paper and then just sign my name again. Because, you know, this part right here did not come out so good. I had to get rip it up. So I, I have to definitely fix this. All right, so let's, let's continue because this is going to take a lot. It's a lot of drawings. So I want to continue with you guys with methods okay yesterday we were working with these pages first we did this page we did this page and we also did this page now we're going to work with this page so this is also um <clears throat> Mm, I wouldn't say difficult, um, just a little bit different. So I'm going to get some drawing paper. Um, let me see if I can get... I gotta, soon i got to buy more drawing paper because I'm running out of paper. So let me explain this to you guys. Um, right here, it's a circle, right? Vertical line. And then we shape it like an egg shape. And then this is going to be the eye line here. I said that the eyes are going to fall right on top here, like you see over here. See? So I actually number them. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, this one is six. And then this one is practically almost the same, but it's <clears throat> actually this is the same thing. I just forgot to put an arrow. It's the same process. Except that this one, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> let me drink something.
Okay, so um, right here is the, the shape of the face. You start right like this, and you start like this, and then right here is the finished process of shaping. It's not finished, it's just the last um, thing you gotta do is the shape of the face. Uh, the reason I leave the shape of the face for last is because I like to work with the features first. Now there are times that I break the rules, like this one. This one, I started working with the shape of the face, as you can see. I started doing an oval, as you can see, it's an oval, pretty much like I showed you on this page right here. I started working with an oval, and then I started shaping the face. So it's very similar, except the, the segments are done a little bit different. For example, uh, this is the first process, a regular oval, and uh, I started working with the, um, the shape of the face, as you can see, and you always gotta try to like, if you're gonna do reference from a person, always study the shape of their face, okay? And then I did the eyebrows. It's one, two, three, four, five, the eyebrow here, six, the other eyebrow here. And then I started, you know, I added the bridge of the nose all the way to the bottom, all right? And then from the corner of the nose, I went up, and then right here would be my eye. So in order to figure out if I got this right, remember the method that I showed you before, that the eyes are five eyes wide. So I actually count one, two, three, four, five. So when you reach the five eye here, it's sort of like half an eye, see? So that's what makes the shape of the face. So I'm gonna do this in ink so you guys can figure out what I'm trying to show here. So here's the nose. I started with the nose. Actually, the eyebrows first, number five. Let's do this again. Number one, the shape of the face with number two this side of the face. Number three, the bottom part of the face, but tapered in, okay? This part also tapered in, this would be number four. Then the eyebrows are is number five. The other eyebrow is number six. I'll do this in ink so you can see a little bit more clear. And then from there, I started working down with the nose which I actually, maybe I should just number this also. The nose, the bridge of the nose should be number seven. And then the eye should be number eight. So, of course, I added so many numbers so that way I could remember how the process is done. And then the outline of the hair will come last, okay? And the ears, like always, were the same level of the uh, the eyelid. That would be my ear. And just make sure that the bottom of the ear actually reaches the bottom of the nose. Okay, so. This one I showed you before from a book called The Art of Drawing People. So this is a different process. Now I went back to the book to review it again. And of course, uh, the artist um, that did this method for, you know, the art of drawing the people, he started out doing the shape of the face. And then he did the horizontal line for the eyebrow line, horizontal line for the nose. Then another horizontal line, which will be the bottom of the eye or you can simply do the middle line for the eye, like you see here. Okay, so I actually not number them, but letter them, A, B, and C. Uh, this is a different process. This one is A, B, and this one is C and D. This one is a little bit different because over here, I did it both ways. I had to do it 
a different way this way and a different way this way, like on this on this side right here. So, so instead, what I did was the horizontal line curving, this horizontal line curving, and that would be my indication of the face. And then I did the outline. It's kind of like if you were doing this technique, you're starting off with the center line like that, and then you're doing the shape of the face like that. So that's pretty much like this, all right? Except that this artist didn't use the center line. He used mostly the horizontal lines like you see here. So this is the finished result. Um, it's not perfect because I hardly use this method. I'm so used, used to using the uh, Andrew Loomis method. Okay, so this one is more like a realistic... Um, way of doing uh, people and uh, of course you start off with a circle the nose line here the chin line here and then you add a, like sort of like an oval shape you know kind of like an egg shape if anything it would be more like an egg shape so after that you do another line and you actually you know indicate the same length as long as you have the same length like that through the eye segments and then from there you take on on the whole drawing and you start doing a drawing of a person this was actually a little girl so I sort of like copied a little bit from the book so I started you know adding more lines for the eyebrows and uh, more uh, detailings of the eyes the eyelid and the eyebrows and then the lips. So let me show you uh, pretty much. Um, we're going to go back and we're going to start this one. We'll start with a circle. The middle line, which is a vertical line, we'll shape it as an, an egg shape and make sure that it looks like an egg shape. The eye line is going to be here. The nose line is going to be here and the mouth line is going to be here and the chin line is going to be here. So my next move, I'm going to start indicating uh, the eyebrows. Sort of like a hint. It doesn't have to be a finished eyebrow. So it's sort of like you're mapping out everything little by little. And then I'm going to start working three eyes wide. The length. Okay. And from there, I'm going to go down and I'm going to add the nose. So I'm not going to finish the whole drawing. I'm just going to give you an idea how the process is done. Okay. Then we're going to do the mouth. Now, so far, I did this whole segment over here. Now I'm going to start doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate the length of the face. Slice a little bit. Okay, I'm going to slice. Which I should actually do this over here. Let me see. Slice. This is slice. Right there. Okay. All right, so once I slide this, I indicate where the hairline is going to be. This is a little di different from the, the Loomis method. So um, the next thing I'm going to start doing, um, I'm going to start um, give it shape. Taper in.
all the way down to the chin. Refine the eyes a little bit. Refine the eyebrows. And then the hair, of course. I'm going to do the hair lines before I do the rest of the hair. That. And then from where the, uh, eyelid, the eyelid is, I'm going to start doing the ears all the way down to where the nose line is. Make sure that it's nice and level. Just about there. Maybe some earrings. Because it's going to be female. Then uh, the corner of the eyes, I go straight down. And that would be my neck. Very simple. Then if I want, I can start adding hair. And I don't want to exaggerate it too much. I can start adding hair. Maybe some curvy outlines like that. And like I said, I'm not going to finish, you know, all the hair details. I'm just going to give you an idea pretty much how I would do it. And of course, I got to do a lot of erasing. Get my needed eraser here someplace. I got to open a new one that I have. This is a little bit messy. I'm going to have to open another one. I'll be back, guys. I just got to go to my room and find another kneaded eraser. Don't go away. Okay, I'm back. Um, now, you guys going to have to wait till I open this. I should have had this prepared, but anyway, it's... I kind of like the, uh, the feel of opening my needed eraser. It's like gum, but it's not gum. And what's cool about it, that you can shape it any form you want. And you can start erasing. And if you have kids, don't leave this around. They'll probably get mistaken and they'll eat this like if it was gum. So you gotta be very careful. And what's good about the kneaded eraser, you get to erase uh, all these little details and you can make your drawing look like a ghost in order to make it more better and work with it and stuff. So, so that's how you do pretty much uh, this technique right here. And then, of course, you add the um, bridge of the nose. You start shaping. If you want, you can start, you know, working from the bottom part of the nose first. The nostrils, the corners of the nose. Go up and do the bridge of the nose, just like that. And then, you, you know, finalize the eyebrow. You can use the V-shape technique to form the arched shape of the eyebrows. There's like, sort of like several. One here, one here, and one here. That actually helps you um, figure out where the eyebrow is. You don't want to make the eyebrow too high. This didn't come out so good, but anyway, this is just a, a demonstration that I'm showing you. It's not going to come out perfect. Uh, it's just a, 
a regular sketch I'm doing to show you guys how I would approach, you know, uh, drawing the face in so many methods. Because that's what this video is all about. We're actually reviewing and learning different ways how we can draw the body, the head, and the face, okay? All right, so now that we uh, got this one done, now let's work with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I might leave this like this because I might use that face for something. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Because I don't want to throw away, you know, just use the paper and just throw it away. So we're going to work with this one. So we start with a regular oval. Right? Regular oval. Don't worry about the shape of the head. Worry about it later. We're going to start with a vertical line for the center of the face. And then we'll start with the eye line. And then we'll start with the nose line. And then here's the hint of the mouth right here. And right here would be the chin. So in a way you are sort of like chopping this uh, three length the face. See, just like the Loomis method. And the hairline right here. So it's, it's sort of like the Loomis method. One, two, three. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start pretty much like I was showing you over here. I'm going to start shaping the face like you see over here. So I'm going to start visualizing the shape of the face. And I got to make sure that it's the same length. I don't want to make this side too long and this side too short. So I want to make sure that the face stays in right proportions. So I go down, taper in all the way down to the chin. So this is going to be my eye line here. So I'm going to start doing the eyebrows. So I'm going to work. If I want, I can do some lines like this to do the eyebrows. Like that. The other eyebrow like that right here. Then work with the bridge of the nose. Go down and do sort of like a triangle shape. Pretty much what I've been showing you guys before. Or a little oval for the nose, if you want. Nostrils. The center of the nose. Fix this just a little bit better. And then I'm going to start working with the mouth. Also, when you're from the nose to the mouth, here's the nose, right? You have the nose right here. Let me see if the camera is capturing this. Because I made a mistake before. So I want to make sure that you guys capture every single detail I'm doing here. Okay, so this is the nose, right? So you're going to do sort of like a, a split, you know, shape like that. Okay? And then the top of the lip should be over here. So you got to give space. And already you have the segments done. Remember, the mouth is between the nose and the chin. So we got this right over here. But we still have to remember that 11, sort of like this form that goes like this, right? So now we're going to go up from the corner of the nose all the way up. Indicate the length of the eyes like that. And then we start rendering the, the top of the eye first. Or if you want, you just do the whole shape of the eye. But this actually works better. And then I do the iris of the eye. Then I could do now the bottom part of the eye. And then, of course, this didn't come out so good. But that was the first movement that I did. Where's my needed eraser now? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's erase this a little bit. 
And then I'm going to refine the eyebrows a little bit better. Okay. And then on the ears, I'm going to start doing the ears. Just like I told you before, from the eyelids all the way to the nose. Okay. Darken it just a little bit just to give it an impression of if it's an ear that we're doing the neck You already know how I did the neck so let's erase this so I don't want to confuse you guys So this is the hairline here you might probably might want to bring it a little higher Just like that see and when you do the shape of the face you can do this technique also like that Sort of like if you were putting a mask. For example, here's a face. And th these are the features, right? This is the nose, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, right? Let's bring this a little higher so you can see. So it's sort of like you were doing, uh, you know, doing a mask on a person's face. That's what this whole thing is. Okay? You can actually do this also with the circle technique. Use the math, the mask technique. Okay, so now that we got that, we're gonna start fixing the lips a little bit. Like that. Neck. And then the hair, you start doing the hair afterwards. Okay, so that's not so hard. That's this technique over here. All right, so now we're, let's go on to the next page. We're gonna do this one, two types, okay? Remember, this is a different type and a different type. It seems the same, but the methods are changed. So I'm gonna show you, uh, let's go to the back page. And first, we're going to start with this one. We'll do the shape of the face. Like that. And then we'll start doing the horizontal line for the eyes and a horizontal line for the nose. That's it. It's just like one, two, three, four, five shapes. Sorry, like, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four shapes. Four lines, that's it. So we got an indication of what the face might look like or the head. So, and you could use this technique to do faces. It's good for portrait drawing. That's why um, I recommended you the book, um, The Art of Drawing People, which I did a video on that. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, you could always, you know, check my, um, my library, you know, my library playlist and you'll see a lot of stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working with the nose first. So I'm gonna vi visualize that the nose would be right here. Then I'm gonna go up and that would be where my eyes would be. Usually sometimes I might start from the top, but sometimes I'll start from the bottom, you know, from the nose all the way up and that would be the segments for my eyes. So the eyebrows should actually be right where the line is okay and now we're gonna fix the nostrils and then the mouth falls right over here And then I could start, you know, <coughs> excuse me, rendering the chin a little bit better. So what we got so far, a woman's face. Let me 
the eyelids and I'm going to start refining the nose a bit the center of the nose and then the bridge of the nose and then right about here would be the hairline okay as soon as you get all this done trust me everything will start you know coming in place the hairline the hair style everything and then from the corner of the eyes the neck So basically, this is sort of like a technique that many cartoonists actually use. It's just simple lines. That's it. And then we're going to erase, you know, some of these lines that we don't need with the magic needed eraser. All right. So wait, let's just erase a little of this a little bit more. So we got our hair done. And then we're going to finish the whole shape of the head to indicate, you know, the length of the hair. So we want to finish, you know, the shape of the head, right? Sort of like an egg shape. This whole technique actually helps you render the whole head slowly. And you'll be able to see everything you need to place on your head. The ears are right here. Let's add some, I don't know, some big earrings or something. So maybe I should have never did the earrings, but I just want to, uh, you know, fix the um, the the jaw first. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's fix the jaw first. All right, let's fix the jaw. So now we got the face. I'm not going to worry about the details and all that. I'm going to do that afterwards. So I'm going to shape her face. Taper in a little bit, just a little bit. And it's already tapered in. Once you do this whole technique, it's actually, the face is actually tapered in. And always remember that a woman's face is very, very feminine and very round. Some women have a blocky shape because not everybody is the same. Now I could actually finish the earrings. And then I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna start from the top because that's the way I would actually do it. Sometimes I'll start with the nose. Corners of the nose. I'm gonna make her smile a bit. I don't wanna make her look too sad. I want to make her happy. A happy, pretty lady. And then, say she's in love. She's looking in a corner. She's saying to herself, wow, what a handsome guy. I wonder if he's single. Who knows? That's what she's probably thinking. Who knows? You go always, you know, try to... do something for your characters of course this is actually coming out from my head then i'm going to fix her eyelids and just like i mentioned before that when you're drawing faces the most important important part of the face is really the the eyes the nose the mouth so sort of like you're actually visualizing like a big triangle. The beauty of if you're drawing a woman, you have to capture the eyes. And you got to capture the nose. The rest, you know, little by little will come in place. And there are times that even though I do the eyes, I still got to, you know, fix a little bit the face, you know, the, the shape of the face. The construction of the face and but to me the most important thing in drawing faces is actually the eyes the nose and the mouth 
So that's how you do, and I'm gonna finish everything. So pretty much, you know, that's how you actually do this technique. You can add cheekbones to give her more like a sophisticated older woman. You can make her look like an older woman, a very sexy older woman. You could do that. And then erase all these lines that you don't need, especially half of the egg shape you don't need because you're going to actually fix the hair. You're going to add more detail for the hair. So I'm just going to do one side just to give you an idea. And when I do the hair, um, I learned this from some of my books that I would start out from the roots. Kind of make it more details where the root of the hair starts like that. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much what I'm going to do for you guys with the, this technique because I'm going to take longer if I keep uh, demonstrating more stuff. So I'm going to save this because maybe I might do something with this and with this. So going on to the next technique, let's see what we have. Okay, again, the face. This is going to be a different technique. As you can see, I showed you it starts with a circle, the indications of the lines, vertical and horizontal lines. So let's, let's start working with this one now. So we start out with a circle. The nose line should be, I would actually start with the no, nose line. For this method, I definitely want to start with the nose line first. Then my eyes are going to be here and the chin line is going to be here. And the reason why for this is because it's going to actually help me figure out the length of the face. Okay. So we got the nose line first, the eye line here first, and then the chin line comes afterwards. So my next move is the oval, the egg shape. I'm going to form it into an egg shape. Then I'm going to indicate where the eyes are. Another good technique is that when you see the vertical line, you're going to start doing the indication of the eyes starting from here. Okay? Especially when you're using lines like this. Always start from the center, out, center, out. Okay? Very, very uh, simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, rendering the features. I'm not going to do the eyes on the line. I'm going to do it exactly how the book shows you that the eyes fall on top of the line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another line for the eyebrow line right here. It's kind of like the, um, the Loomis technique and a little bit of the Riley technique or something like that. So the mouth line should be around here between the nose line and between the chin line right here. Okay. So now I'm going to start doing the eyes. And if I want, like always, I could start from the nose and then go up and then do the segments for the, the eyes. There's so many ways in doing the features. You can start from the center where the vertical line is and then bring out the other line here and the other line here. Or you can start with the nose. Again, start with the center, do the line here, the line here, then bring up and that would be where the eyes would be set. So there's so many ways in doing features for the face. Now I'm going to do, you know, map out the hair, kind of like block in the rest of the stuff, the rest of the, the balaco, whatever. The ears would be around here. And this is a little girl, so the ears are going to be slightly a little bit bigger because children have a big ears, you know. And their head is slightly bigger on top a little bit. So the face is going to actually taper in a little bit more and the, the head is going to be bigger on the top. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working with the lips. And once I have the ears placed, that's going to help me form the shape of the face. See how it's actually taking shape. Now, I never did this method, but so far it's... Um, it's coming out okay. Um, I'm one of those type of people that, you know, I, I like to pick up different techniques and, and try out new techniques and new methods. I, I like to challenge. I like to challenge myself when it comes to art. And believe it or not, if, if I had a lot of money, unfortunately, I don't make too much money because my job pays me peanuts. But if I did have a lot of money, um, I would probably have my own art studio and probably start working with painting and portrait painting. But unfortunately, right now, all I have is this. Regular board, pencils, paper. And I'm lucky that I'm actually buying some of these uh, ink pens. Now we're going to make her eyelashes. Girls, especially young girls, they do have... Uh, not like adult women, but, you know, eyelashes. Especially, you know, children, they, their eyelashes, you can see more of their eyelashes. So now I'm going to finish her eyes. The iris of the eye. She's a, a bright blue eye little girl. And I definitely need a lot of practice uh, doing children. And I think I'm going to do a tutorial in doing uh, babies. But I got to look back on my books, my uh, life drawing books, especially when it comes to faces. There are a lot of stuff that I need to look at when it comes to babies. So that's like sort of like a little girl. Um, I want to make sure that the neck is a little bit slender because children have smaller necks. So I have to be very careful and I want to make her look like a little girl. So, so far that looks good and I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to save this because I can do something with this whole drawing. So that came out pretty good. Okay, so that's this technique that I did. Let's go on to the next page. This one is, I showed you this one before. This one is also from the Art of Drawing People. As you can see, I actually do the techniques and I write down whoever it comes from. And uh, this is sort of like my other, the third how to draw book that I created. And I recommend everybody to make your own how to draw books. You know, take all the information down that you learn and just make your own book. All right, so this technique, it's, um, it's uh, pretty easy. You start off with the uh, vertical line. It's like you're starting from the center of the face and to the outside. So that's what, what this is. We start off with a vertical line, horizontal line. Horizontal line for the nose, the eye right here, nose line, mouth line, and the chin line, okay? And then you start little by little shaping the whole face as you see over here. And then after that, you start working with the nose first, indicate the eyes, and then the lips. 
So let's try to draw a face, something that'll probably come from my head. I don't know what I'm gonna draw. Maybe I'll draw a man. This time I'll draw a man. So this will be the first thing you do, the vertical line. And it's gonna be the eye line right here. And then the nose line should be here. To make it simple, you could do the eyebrow first here, then the nose line, and then the mouth line, and then the chin line right here, okay? So we have an indication of a face here, except that it's just a few lines in the center of the face. So what do we do? We start, you know, seeing the shape of the top of the head, the side of the face, Make sure it's the same level. If you want, you can get your, let's see if I still have it here. I think I have it here. No, I don't. I gotta check in my backpack for a second. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna measure to see if it's the same length. Okay, so let me see, like that. Yeah, it's almost the same length. And your eye will, you know, your eye will be trained to see the same length on the face. You don't wanna draw a face like, for example, like this like this side smaller and this side bigger. That's not gonna look right, unless you're doing a three quarter view. So we're doing a front view now, so. And if you're doing a front view, both sides have to be even. So you have to make sure that both sides are even, especially when you're using ovals. Okay, so then we start shaping the face. Where the mouth line is, we taper in all the way to the chin. Okay, so we have an indication of the face. So what do we do next? Well, what we're gonna do now is the, the nose first. Sort of like a hint of a nose. Remember like I showed you that you don't have to do a triangle for the nose. You do a shape of a triangle in a form of a nose, okay? That's all you gotta do very lightly. And you start indicating the corners of the nose, the nostrils, the bottom of the nose. Don't worry about the mouth yet. You might gonna have to do some adjustments. Just so like maybe bring a little higher or something like that. Okay, so from the nose, I'm gonna indicate from the corner of the nose where my eyes, where I'm gonna set my eyes. So um, I'm gonna bring this, gonna taper this in a little bit. This will be the corners of the eye right here shape this in a little better as you go along you'll be seeing that you're going to be shaping the face a little bit more okay so now the next thing we're going to do is the eye level we'll start with the eye remember the eye is three eyes wide Then the mouth. The eyelid. The bridge of the nose. And then we're gonna do the eyebrows. And you're gonna do sort of like the mirror effect. You're gonna start working with this side and this side. That's the same thing with the eyes. This side and this side. That's, I actually call that the mirror effect. And then say he's suspicious about something. So I'm gonna make his eye look this side. 
this guy is definitely not in love. He's just suspicious about something. And we all get that feeling. I wonder what's happening in the corner of the street. It looks very, it looks strange. What's going on? I need to find out. Shall I call the police? No. So he has like a suspicious look. I'm gonna render his eyebrows. And then the ears. Same thing like I told you. The right proportions, okay? The right proportions. And then you could start uh, adding the hair. And you don't want to exaggerate too much the hair. Don't don't exaggerate too much the hair. Then you can erase uh, all these lines. You know, you mold your little magic kneaded eraser really thin like that to the tip like that and then you can erase all these lines that you don't need so we have a face you see all you have to do is start from the center just like I showed you over here you start out from the center of the face and you work your way from the outside of the face so we have a face. Got the details afterwards, but I'm not gonna, you know, finish. Uh, I'll probably do something with this drawing later on. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna save it. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the next technique, which is the three-quarter view. It's the same technique. It's the same artist. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do. And this one is a lot of concentration because this is a three quarter view, okay? So what do we do is we start again with a vertical line, right? We do the eye line here, we do the nose line here, and we do uh, the mouth line. Now, if I were you guys, I would do like the eye shape, just to give me an idea of how this three quarter view is going to look. So I would do something like this, right? Okay, so I leave everything just the way it is. So I'm going to do this in ink, so that way uh, you guys understand what I'm trying to show over here, okay? This is going to be the eye line, nose line, mouth line, the chin line. And then, of course, I would just do an indication, a hint. This is called like a hint, like sort of, sort of like a, a shortcut. A hint of the eye there, okay? So what do we do? The next thing we're going to do is, after we do the center line and the vertical lines and all that, we're going to start from this side of the face. And then after that, we'll start with the planes of this side of the face, this side. And then over here, no, actually, sorry, we'll start from here, 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 to the jaw. But it might not look right. So trust me, this is going to be an easier way to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working with the shape of this, this side of the face. And I gotta remember that this side of the face you're gonna see less and this side you're gonna see more. So I'm gonna have to make this a little bit expanded out. So, so this one is gonna take a little bit, a lot of concentration to do this one. So, and then I'm gonna go straight down to the chin. And then from there, I'm gonna start working with the jaw. Now, I'm not too crazy with this technique because if anything, I'd rather just do it this way. I would just probably do it this way and then do this line here for this side of the head. You know, do the planes and that actually helps me improve better the whole shape of the head. But we're going to do this um, several ways just to, because uh, I don't want to confuse you guys. So once we have that, let's erase this again. Hold on. Once we have that, we're going to start, you know, shaping the jaw, right? 
the ears. <coughs> make sure it's in the same level where the nose line is. If you want, you can make another straight line going this way. So, so that would be my jaw right there. And then the back of the head have more shape in the back of the head. The neck. Remember that the man's neck is more thicker than a woman's neck. So you could do it this way. You know, it might work. And then <coughs> <coughs> you could start adding the planes like this. So that might work. And then the eye would actually fall right there. You see? Now, the other way that I would probably do this, which I'm going to show you right now, I would do it this way. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do it in a different process now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyebrow, uh, the eyebrow line right here on top, right? And then indicate where the side of the face is going to be on this side then finish on this side right here. And this is done a lot by uh, David Finch. Then do the forward, the, the line for the side of the head here. The planes of the cheekbones right here, see? See how easy it is? You start here and you finish off over here. The hairline should be over here. And all this that you're doing here you could actually visualize sort of like an oval shape, see? Like an oval shape. Once you do these three segments, you start visualizing the shape of the head. In your mind, you're going to see it right there. So the jaw is going to be right over here, see? You don't really have to do the circle, but you're going to visualize it. You're going to actually see it right in your mind. Your mind is going to be programmed to see, holy shit, I'm seeing the form of the head. Once you're doing the whole segment here, see? And then everything starts taking form. You could, if you want, start the eyes first. Actually, start the nose because that's where the way I saw it in the book. You start the nose. And then you can start working with the eyes, you see? Again, the center first, vertical for the eyes, the nose, the mouth line. And then you add the, eye, the eyebrow line, okay? So this is gonna be the eyebrow line. This is gonna be the eye line. And this is going to be the mouth, the, sorry, the nose line. <laughs> And this is going to be the mouth. Okay, very simple. And then all you have to do is once you have this whole form, if you want, you can do a hint of the eye there. Then bring it in like that. Do this outside shape like this, straight down to where the jaw is, to the chin, sorry, to where the chin. And then you start visualizing this side of the face, the contour, the planes of this side to the cheekbones all the way down to where the jaw is, to the, where the chin is, right there. And then you visualize, you're going to start visualizing the whole shape of the head, and it's sort of like an oval shape. Little by little, your mind is going to see that. And then that's it, the jaw comes this way. If you want, once you visualize that, you can actually make a line like that, just like the Loomis technique. And that would be your jaw. So there's a lot of, you know, ways that you can break the rules. You don't really have to do exactly the same as the technique. You could change it. And that's what I like to do with my techniques. I like to change my techniques until I feel comfortable um, with my drawings and what I'm doing or what I'm planning. So, so you're actually visualizing the whole head after you do the first process. Okay, so this one is the same thing. You could start off right here, right here, and then right here, and then right here. So this one I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you right here. This one, it's a little bit different. And the 
chin line right here. So you can start at the side of the face first, this side, and then you do the cheekbones, the planes for the cheekbones, and then the side of the head right here. And that's it. All we have to do is work with the nose and then you start working with the planes for the forehead like that and the eye should actually fall here the other eye should be really close to the nose over here because we're talking here a three-quarter view it's foreshortened so this side you see less and this side you're going to see more so okay so you could do it that way it actually works out let me show it to you again we'll do a vertical line the eye lines nose line and the chin line make sure it's nice and leveled okay because you don't want to make it too long then you start out the side of the face all the way down and then uh, you can do this right here and then you can start doing this right here and then you can start doing this over here and this right here and everything starts trust me everything is going to start taking place okay then the eyes, you'll be able to see where the eyes go. This eye, since it's a three-quarter view, this eye should be really close to the nose, and this eye should be on this side right here. So, okay, so it's not so hard. Uh, you just gotta practice the technique. Okay, so let's go to the next page. All right, this one is almost like the Loomis technique, and let me explain this one. Um, I'm going to show you how this one is done. It's almost like the Loomis technique. So this one, we start off with the circle again. And then the center, the horizontal line for the center of the face. And then we add the vertical line, which is going to be the center of the face all the way down. We indicate where the nose is going to be. Remember, it's supposed to be three parts. The chin line this way. And the hairline should be on top. So make sure that's the same level, the same length. Okay, so that's going to be the front of the face. So my next move is making another line for where the eyes are going to be placed. Just like that. doesn't have to go all the way in the back. So we have an indication of sort of like a Loomis technique. So I'm going to do this in ink. So that way you guys understand what I'm trying to show over here. We'll do the circle first. The horizontal line for the, cent the center of the circle, which is going to be the eyebrow line. And the vertical line straight down to the chin. Then the eye line should be around here. The nose line should be here and the hair line should be here. So... My next move is I'm going to start indicating the shape of the face. So how do I do this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start seeing the shape on this side. Then I'm going to start seeing the shape on this side. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another line here for the ear line. Okay. Then I'm going to do a hint of the ears very lightly because I'm going to actually level it later once I have the whole face done. Okay, so we have so far a Loomis method three-quarter view. Very simple. One, two, and three. So what do we do next? We start working like over here that I did over here. I actually did the nose first and then I did the, um, the, the side of the face. So I start with the nose first. And usually the Loomis technique usually starts with the nose. I would guess that everybody that loves the Loomis technique or likes to work with the Loomis technique, they actually start with the nose first. And then after that, I'm going to work my way with this corner of the face, which is the side of the face. Render it. In, out, like that. This is what you're doing, people, like this. In, out, in, straight down. Okay? That's what you're doing after you do the nose. And then right around here, 
I'm going to start visualizing since this is a foreshortened three quarter view. I'm going to visualize the uh, side of the head. If I want, I can do a uh, oval just like the Loomis technique. That would actually help me out better. And then the cheekbone would be right around here. Voila, I have the Loomis technique done. So it's a very simple technique. It's from the book, um, The Art of Drawing. I'm just helping you guys uh, figure this out since I'm very practical to, you know, with the Loomis technique. I start off with the nose. I work with the side of the face, straight down to the chin and the planes of where the oval, <clears throat> the oval is gonna be on the side of the face and then the cheekbone over here. And then this line that I hear that I did before, where I did the uh, ear line, I kind of visualize where the jaw is going to be. You see? The neck should be right around the back where the ear is, just about there. And this is going to be a man, so the neck is going to be thicker. And don't forget that the man has the Adam's apple. Okay? So that's pretty much how you do a three-quarter view. And then little by little, you'll start seeing the, uh, the shape of the eye over here. And then you'll start seeing the other shape of the eye. You could actually count like um, Romero does. He does the three circles. But if you're already practical doing eyes already, you don't really have to do all that because you're going to be doing the eyes right out of your head, just like that. Okay? Just like that, the eyes should actually come out and you'll be able to do great, great three-quarter view faces like that. Make sure that uh, where the center of the eye is, is that's where the uh, corner of the mouth is. And then right, right here, you just make a line straight down. That would be the corner of the mouth. So you're actually seeing uh, perspective in a way with the mouth, with the eyes, not so much the nose, because actually the nose is covering a little bit. Since this is a three quarter view, remember that the nose is gonna be covering half of this eye. You won't be able to see the tear duct. You only see the, the tear duct of the eye on this side only, that's it. And then of course the mouth, you'll see less on this side and you're gonna see more on this side when it comes with the mouth. And that is for you guys, the three quarter view. I just hope that many of my friends that can't tackle the Loomis technique, hopefully they could understand what I'm showing here. Because I'm actually doing all this very slow so you guys could actually understand it. All right. Now, going back with the nose, because I want to do every type of technique there is here. The nose, uh, like I said, is sort of like a, an invisible nose shape. You could start off very, like a, something like that, see? And then you start shaping it little by little, the center of the nose, the nostrils, and the corners of the nose, all the way to the center of the nose, uh, to the bridge of the nose, okay? You could use the upside down T shape. Like that, the center of the nose, the bottom of the nose here. Indicate the corners of the nose. Work with the corners of the nose. Do the nostrils. It's whatever you guys feel comfortable with. You could start doing the nostrils first and then do the corners of the nose, but I would better off start with the corners of the nose first better because everything would actually take shape better and better form to do the nose, okay? So that's another way of doing the noses. And I know I explained that many times, but I like to explain it more on each video that I do, so that way it be programmed in your heads. Okay, so I'm not gonna go with the mouse because I did plenty of tutorials with the mouth. So the ears, um, many of you have trouble doing ears. So I would do sort of like a half oval shape for the ears. And then here's gonna be the top of the ear. 
and it's sort of like a this sort of like a curve that comes out like that and trust me ears are not easy oh my god it's a real mission to draw ears and it, it just you need a lot of practice doing ears and then the earlobe right here okay that's how you uh i would probably do ears Remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just showing you pretty much what I have been learning and um, of the many years that I've been drawing. So it doesn't really take a rocket scientist that every technique has got a lot to offer and you can change it, okay? So now we're gonna do this technique. Um, we're gonna start, let me see. Uh, we're gonna start with the uh, oval face. Start with the oval. Right, at the center of the face, okay? And then there's gonna be the eye line right here. It's always gonna be in the center of the egg shape. Always remember that the eye line, it's not here and it's not up here. It's always in the center, the eye line, okay? So we're gonna do the nose right about here. Then the mouth line should be here. And then the chin should be here. Give me a minute, guys, because I have such a stuffy nose. I got to put some spray or something. Hold on. God, I had to put some nose spray Afrin. Maybe that might help. And it's all this rain. That actually, since I'm always riding my bike to work and I'm always getting caught on the rain. And that's really bad. And then when I go to my job, this, the AC is so strong that it kind of like messes me up. Even though I love the AC and air conditioning, but I got to be careful, especially when I'm all wet. All right, going back to my drawing, I'm going to start working with the uh, the uh, eyebrow line here. So I'm doing sort of like segments, you see, like instead of making a whole line here, I'm doing segments for the eyebrows, you see, like what I'm doing here. So the next thing I'm going to start doing is um, this eye over here, this other eye right near where the center line is because it's a three-quarter view, right? And then an indication of where my nose is going to be placed. And if I want, I could do the nose first, just like the Loomis method. Start the nose first and then do the eyes if I want. That will be better. I think that would be better. And then a hint of the mouth. Where my mouth is going to land. Especially if it's a three-quarter view. So now that I have that, what I got to do now is I'll start rendering the outside, the contour of the face. See? And then go up. That would be my forehead and the hairline should be right here. So I got an indication so far of a three quarter view done with an oval. So I'm gonna do this in ink so you guys could see this more clear. Cause I don't know if you could see this clear with the pencil, but anyway, I'm gonna show you several ways okay so like that that like that and then i start either with the nose and then i start doing the eyes like that but remember the first thing you do is you start working the segment for the eyebrows first the vertical line horizontal line for the eyes and the nose line the mouth line then you do an indication of the eyebrows and then you start working either with the eyes or the nose all you have to do guys is just turn back the video and watch it again and then you start working with the frame of the uh, contour of the side of the face and then see how it's actually taking form so all you got to do is 
pretty much like what I've been showing you guys, the planes. That's it. The planes straight down to where the chin is. And then once you do these planes, you're going to start visualizing where that jaw is going to be. Your, your mind is going to see it, trust me. You'll be able to see this in no time where the jaw is going to land. Because once you're working step by step, every segment, you're going to see everything start, uh, start taking shape. And to make the head, you know, a little bit bigger, because all heads are, are uh, big on, uh, on the backside, once you do the ears, same level with the nose and the, uh, eye, the uh, eyelid. Just let's do the nose first. And then that's when you start adding more shape in back of the head. Because the ears actually give you uh, a way, a visual effect of where the back side of the head is going to be. And then right here is going to be the neck. That's it. You use cylinders for the neck and then start forming the neck, the arteries of the neck. And then at the same time, give it more details. But you see how simple that is? It's not so hard. All you have to do is, you know, kind of visualize where everything takes place. It's not so hard. Then you can do more details, you know, the bridge of the nose, you know, the eyelids, you know, of the eyes. Of course, this is actually made in ink, so I won't be able to, you know, refine this. So this is just, you know, quick uh, demonstration that I'm showing you guys uh, how you do a three-quarter view. And trust me, there's so many techniques out there uh, doing. But come to think about it, that every technique kind of looked the same. It's just many of the, uh, the techniques are, you know, changed. They're all differently, you know, made. So, so you just got to, you know, memorize all these uh, steps okay so that's how you do uh this technique over here so so i'm going to skip this because this didn't really help me that much all right so now we're going to do um this uh this is going to be a little bit different so we're going to start maybe we'll do in the back of the page actually we'll do another page we'll use this this side over here because this actually is going to help me out because I can see pretty much the lines on the other side of the drawing. So it's going to be a different technique. So we're going to start. This is going to be different. This one is going to be a horizontal. Actually, everything is going to be horizontally. We'll start out with the eyebrow line first. So let's erase this for a second. Hold on, let's erase this because I don't want to confuse the, you guys. We'll start out with the, uh, the uh, eyebrow line. Nose line. Then the mouth line should be here and the chin line should be here. So what do we do? We do the eye line now, right? Okay, this is going to be a little bit different. So we'll start shaping this side of the face. And then we'll start doing the shape of the head. This is going to be a woman because actually the technique of the, in the book it actually is a woman. So this is not going to be the same thing like I did before because we're not going to use the vertical line. But you do see it on the other page on the other side because this one is just using horizontal lines. So you're going to indicate where the eyes are going to be. You're going to start seeing little by little where the eyes. This is going to be the end of the corner of the eye right here and the other side over here. And then the nose should be down here. So once you have all this, if you want, you could indicate where that vertical line is going to be. See? And then you start rendering the face. And then you do a curve for the jaw because women's jaws, you know, on, on the jaw is a little bit curvy. So always keep that in mind. And then we have the indication of the eyes. We'll start with the nose first. And then the mouth.
and then the eye. You see how it's actually, everything is taking shape and it's pretty easy. It's not so hard. It's, everything has to do with practice people. Now that you're doing all this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start seeing the shape of the head, see? Just like I showed you with the male head that you start seeing the whole shape of the head. With the woman, with this technique, of course, we started off with horizontal lines first, and then we did the indication of the eyes, and then we let the, we actually did the vertical line for the face for last. So, see how little by little, it's just, you know, the whole thing starts taking shape. You start forming the face, and the woman's neck is gonna be a little bit longer and thinner, slender and she does not have an Adam's apple. And then say she's looking this way. And the eyebrows. So this, this method actually works out pretty good. If you want, you can use this technique. It actually works out. Um, it's just a lot of practice, a lot of concentrating, but it's really not so hard, people. All you have to do is just keep practicing, okay? Hopefully that this actually would help you guys out and will help you do better uh, portrait drawings. And I think this came out really beautiful, so I might do something with this, who knows? Maybe draw another face here, maybe a front view of a woman here, who knows? I might do that. Yeah, it came out pretty uh, nice. So this, this is not such a bad technique to use. You just got to visualize it. As you can see, I actually wrote down pretty much, you know, the indication, the hair line, the eye line, the nose line, the mouth line, the brow line. But usually start off, you see how I did everything in black? And then this one, I left it in pencil, kind of. So I started out with these segments first, and then I did the eye line, and then the mouth, and this and that. Then I indicated pretty much what I uh, did over here, okay guys? So let's stop here because I don't want too much, uh, info, you know, like, give out too much information and drive you people crazy with so many techniques. Little by little, I will show you all types of techniques and i think i got more stuff on figure drawing someplace here not really sure but yeah it's in here someplace but little by little i will show you some more stuff guys but anyway guys good luck and thank you for watching and practice a lot and for all you newbies please subscribe because i'll be doing more videos i'll try not to do videos on subjects but you know when you see chaos in society, you definitely got to do some videos either with the stuff that happened in Texas or, you know, all kinds of bullshit that's happening in the world. But anyway, I think the next subject is uh, the sun is going to die on us. That's an interesting subject, but I don't want to worry anybody about that. But anyway, have fun, guys, drawing and keep practicing.